Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I put together a tutorial to show you guys the best practices for image sizes when you're using the Divi Visual Builder or the Divi Builder. And this is just to help people out. This is one of the questions we get asked the most is what size should my images be when I'm working with adding content to my website. So the first thing I want to show you is I found this awesome website for these placeholder images. You can see I got this gray box here with the dimensions written in it. Um, and I'm actually pulling from a website called placehold.it, which I've got up here for you. And you literally just plug in the dimensions of your image to this URL and it will put a placeholder image in and it works great. Works awesome with, um, with Divi because we can, we can adjust our image sizes right on the fly. I'll show you. So I've got this image here. This is my one column image. And let's say I want to test out, um, what does this look like if it's 600 pixels tall? Boom, automatically updates. Or what if, what if I want to look at this uh, 580 pixels wide? You know, it's just, it's a great tool for when you're kind of figuring out your layouts, um, figuring out the dimensions of your images. I found this tool to be, you know, one of those priceless gems on the web for helping you out when you're designing up websites. So I hope that helps you out. Okay, so first off, We've got our, our single column. So this is, I've added a row here in the Divi Visual Builder. It's only got one column. And Divi, unless your settings are different in your style sheets or your theme options, the default setting for Divi is 1080 pixels wide. This is what it's gonna put your column width for, the, for all the main content on your website. And you can see that the image, edge of the image lines up with my logo, lines up with my navigation elements. So 1080 is your best width if you're doing a one column image. And the height on these images I'm showing you doesn't necessarily matter. I'm more focused on you know, the width, making sure that it fits in the column properly. So this image can be as tall or as short as you want it to be, but if you want it to go all the way across without getting sized down or compressed, 1080 pixels is gonna be the best size for you. So jump in here into two columns. I found the best image size is 510 pixels wide. Now I put these in at 800 pixels tall just to kind of show you, here's what it looks like if you have a tall image, like a, a portrait image instead of a landscape. It's still gonna fill the area nicely. It's still gonna fit in there just fine. 510 pixels, again, that's gonna keep it from getting sized down and compressed on the fly. So if you're doing three columns across, your best, best width is gonna be 320 pixels wide and that lines them all up perfectly. And then down to the four column option, we've got 270 pixels wide across the board. And this works out great. These dimensions are exactly as they appear on the screen. They haven't been sized up or sized down. Now, if you wanna see how these image look, images look as far as on your tablet or your, your mobile device, the Divi Visual Builder has this great feature down here where I can click on this and this is going to show me what it's going to look like on a tablet. You can see that Divi automatically sizes my 10, 1080 pixels wide image, does that beautifully. And then if I scroll down, you can see it lines everything up, makes it all fit together and work wonderfully. And then the last thing I might want to check is just the mobile devices. And you can see now this image is now just as wide as the one below it. So Divi takes care of a lot of this legwork for you and making it responsible and sizing your images. Well, that pretty much covers everything with the best practices on image sizes working with the Divi Visual Builder. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching.